Freelancing is considered the ultimate dream career. Being able to work where you want, whenever you want, be your own boss, set your own hours. But what if you do not have any experience, any work experience, or you don't have any marketable skill? Don't worry yet, because in this video, I'm going to share a step-by-step -step blueprint on how you can kickstart your freelancing journey without any experience or any marketable skill yet. So let's get into the video. The first thing you're going to do is to identify a marketable skill that you might have and you don't know that you have it or you don't know that you can actually money market it or trade it in exchange for cash. Do you have any skill? Is there anything you liked doing as a kid that was actually valuable and contributed to society or your family? If you don't have a marketable skill, then learn a skill, an easy in-demand skill that you can be able to easily trade for cash online. So don't worry if you don't have a skill. There are plenty of skills that you can choose from. And I'm going to give a number of broad categories that you can be able to pick a skill from. So these broad categories include writing, video editing, graphic design. So we shall take those as a broad categories in this video to pick out the niches or the specific skills that you can offer. So for video editing, one, you can make reels, reels for podcasts, reels for YouTube channels, and these are very easy to make, and you can do it on your phone or on your PC. Another thing you can do as a video editor when you're beginning out is teasers or trailers for events like a wedding, for school events, like for injury events. Another skill you can offer as a video editor is a YouTube video editor. Sometimes a client may require something simple as adding intro, adding outro, adding ads in the middle. So depending on the client you're serving, their needs will vary. When it comes to graphic design, the simple skills you can offer as a graphic designer include code cards and carousels. There's a lot of content creators out there that require things like code cards and carousels. And these really aim to keep their social media platform busy. So you can offer your service as a graphic designer offering code cards, maybe like twice a week and carousels like twice a week and maybe like a reel in the middle there. And that can be such a value add for the client you're serving. Another thing you can do as a graphic designer are thumbnails. Thumbnails are very much in demand today and that is another skill you can easily learn and offer as a freelancer. Newsletter design, ebook design, also under graphic design. The third broad skill is writing. It includes things like copywriting, content writing, and creative writing. So copywriting includes email copywriting. It includes like social media copy. So that little piece of writing on the side of a piece of content, say a reel or a short, that piece on the side is what you call social media copy. So some clients actually pay to have their social media copy written. Content writing includes things like blog writing, newsletter writing, press releases, ebooks. So once you've chosen or identified a specific skill you're going to offer, the next thing you're going to do is to start building your portfolio. How you get samples and testimonials for your portfolio. My advice, one, offer your service for free or at a heavily discounted rate for someone who actually needs it. So you identify someone in your community or online so you can approach them on any of their contact spaces. That, that could be email, that could be Instagram, that could be Facebook, wherever they are active or LinkedIn. Offer them a trial run at a very discounted price or for free. Now that may not sound good to you, but hear me out. One thing you should know is that when it comes to traditional employment, what matters is years of experience. So for example, five years or three years of experience, typical jobs. Now when it comes to freelancing, what matters is can you prove that you can actually do the work? Your years of experience don't matter. So if it is like graphic design, you have a good graphic design, you've actually done. If it is video editing, like a trailer, you have a good trailers maybe you've done it for a church or an NGO or a wedding 
if it is writing, do you have a link to what you have written? So basically you're doing this for one month to get samples and testimonials. You make it clear to your ideal, I'm going to call them the ideal client, that you are doing it for the samples and testimonials. And you can do it for however many clients you want or for whoever client you actually choose, as long as you genuinely believe that the service you're offering would offer them value. So once you have that agreed or in place, you go ahead and build your portfolio website. And this is basically simple. Uh, you use uh, services like Wix, Squarespace, WordPress. Ideally, you should be able or in position to teach yourself these kind of tools. And that is also another thing with freelancing. You have to learn as you go. Next is signing up on freelancing platforms. So platforms like Fiverr, Upwork, like Indeed, like Freelancer, people per hour. Basically, look out those platforms and especially Upwork. Upwork is the biggest. And set up your profiles, optimize your your profiles for those specific services, upload your samples, and start applying for work. Since you have your portfolio together, this should give you a leg up above someone who does not have a portfolio. So a portfolio website is very advantageous when you are applying on platforms like Upwork and many of these freelancing platforms online. The next thing you may want to do is optimize your social media and LinkedIn for that specific land. So if you want to really be known as a service provider for those specific lands you've chosen, then it might be useful for you to optimize your LinkedIn, your social media, and, and position yourself as someone who actually provides those services. As you apply on these platforms like Upwork, you will notice and learn what is actually needed out there in the market for that specific skill. So this will come with experience of you actually proposing for jobs, getting work, and doing that work and also interfacing with people and clients who actually need that work remember this is online and the market space is global it's not just uganda or limited by doing that you will expose yourself to what is actually needed in that field of service and that comes nicely into my next point of learn how to sell selling is basically the most important aspect when it comes to freelancing. I say most important because it doesn't matter how much quality of work you do. If you do not know how to sell, then you will not earn anything. So selling is important. Learn how to sell, read books, take courses, watch YouTube channels on how to sell, and that will be very advantageous in your pursuit of freelancing success. Lastly, up skill. Learn, continue learning and continue expanding your skills as a freelancer. The, the freelance marketplace is ever changing, it's ever innovating, it's ever adapting. People are figuring out ways on how to, to do work faster, easier and cost effectively. So always keep up to date. Learn, learn, learn. Be hungry to learn. And that is how you will actually stay relevant in the freelancing space. It is very, it's very good. It's very exciting. There's a lot of prospects. It's a global marketplace. Very highly recommend freelancing to anyone. Of course, one of the biggest hurdles new freelancers face is identifying and getting to choose their skill to offer. In my next video, I'm going to break down my top seven skills that I've actually done before, and I'm going to rank them according to income, market demand, uh, learning curve, and requirements to all machinery or capital requirements required to do them. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. If you have gained any valuable insight or anything of value whatsoever, be sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button so that you don't miss any future videos. Thank you and see you on the next one.